I think this weekend I'm gonna go see that Black Panther again. Like the first time I went to go see it, I was I fell asleep for like a vital vital part when that ball closed getting dealt with. So yeah, I need a shake back and I need to go see that. But some people is really really sleep. Some people didn't even see it yet, and I know some people who seen it three times already and it just came out. And not to mention the ball broke like box office records. Pretty much everybody in mom went and seen it already. So, like, if you ain't seen it yet, that's, like, not acceptable. That's, like, a violation. But, like, that whole build that was just crazy. Like, everybody was just dressing up. People were sponsoring chicks getting in by allowing them to throw the flowers at their feet. Like, they was coming to America. Like, this was Zamunda. But we really was going to Wakanda. But that was just that was just crazy. And I know the concessions did not make no cheese whatsoever. Cause I know personally I came prepared and my snack of choice has always been them chocolate covered raisins. And not to mention I know other people came prepared too. So I know they did not make any cheese. <laughs> oh, whoa, <laughs> welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast. It's your man Aldo Nice. It's your boy Eric Killmonger, aka Raj Smooth. Wow, it's your boy Los, aka CAP. And this is Baba Femi Ayobuli. <laughs> we are we so obviously we got straight from guests. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise known as Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 obviously have special guests in here this evening, man. We we um we gonna be with the shits today. We're talking about all things Black Panther. Obviously, Raj Smooth came on there trying to claim Eric Killmonger. You're not going to be on... Your body will not be on his... Your head will not be on his body. Definitely. I'm putting you on somebody lame. Because you better put <laughs> my head on, on his body with them dots. <laughs> with them dots with on them your dots. <laughs> them dots was fine. I, I skipped... I don't even want a tattoo no more. I want dots. You Straight want up. Dots. We going right... Hey, man, look. We need to make sure we put this out there for everybody out there listening. This full spoiler alert. This whole podcast episode is Black Panther centric. You knew it was coming. We've, we've been we've been doing this for three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, you said that they showing they showing Black Panther on Centric. <laughs> what you say? No, it's not on Centric. That's the <laughs> they probably okay. got a little bootleg version on Centric <laughs> called like um uh, Black yeah, Black Black uh Black Big Black Cat or uh, uh Black Jaguar or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brown <laughs> Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Black Panther. No man, stop it. That on Centrix. No on Pornhub. Hey man, probably Pornhub. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do have a parody for every every big movie. What would the so. name be though? The, the Black Panther porn. Raj, you know why? Why Conda? BBC Panther. <laughs> <laughs> big black, black, big black, black panther. Uh, That's black, black, black panther. panther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black dot com forward slash black panther. panther. White, white cats. <laughs> That's the, the train version. That's the origin. No, I hate y'all. Let's see y'all getting off the rails already. People tuned in to listen to our takes on the movie. They ain't going Let's nowhere. get to it, man. Um, so first things first, man, I'm just like, let's talk about it, man. This was a cultural phenomenon. I loved it. How did y'all pull up to the movie, man? Cause I know I'm going to put it just like this. I went to that thing with my Malcolm X hat. I had the dashiki on. You can see the picture online, man. I had the, I had the two, two, um, Africa chains, yeah. man. I was with it, man. I was with the shits, man. I was throwing up the fist. Yeah. Looking like a damn fool like that. I, I wasn't the only one. I, was I, the like a fool. I put a regular degular. I have some house shoes, some joggers, and a white tee. I, well, if yeah, if you care to know, I pulled up a uh, regular degular as well. Um, I had on the same hoodie that you see me with today, uh, and some big baggy uh, pants, big baggy sweats. And y'all didn't get in the spirit, cut. That, nah. It's like going. To, Phil, how did you? How you pull up regular? They, you know they rented out the whole theater. <laughs> <laughs> They had goosey soup and fo 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 everywhere. <laughs> you probably watched it in Wakunda. Wakanda. Like, <laughs> Stop. 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 Sorry to disappoint, boys. Jeans and a t-shirt. 
Oh, so he was just regular. Uh, he's regular. Just regular African man. <laughs> I'm the only one who got in the spirit, man. Look, yeah. y'all just pulled up to like an ugly sweater party with with a regular sweater, dog. I don't like it, man. Y'all went nah, in the spirit. I just feel like you don't do that for uh, Tyler Perry when he come out with no show. We want to dress up for him. So I'm not about to dress up. Because Tyler Halloween. Perry dress up for us. That's true. That's true. We don't need to dress still, up. For they him. dress up for us too. You don't come in there with no Madea uh, wig on. Well, I've never been to a Madea movie. I've never been to a theater. <laughs> yeah, no. I, so Al, if I remember right, that's true. You used to go to the plays. He is that not true? <laughs> I, used to go. I never went to the plays. That is not a thing. Yes, it okay. is. I thought you, you the your mom, <laughs> and your went to the plays. Right I, don't the I don't know what he's doing. Right That's kind of where you started from, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly, man. Forget Tyler Perry, man. We on Black Panther, man. So... Let me ask you this: Who was your favorite character in the movie? This is this is probably should be a clean sweep across the board. Raj, go. What's that? Ask favorite me that character, Eric Killmonger, off top. No Michael question. B. Jordan. No question. Michael None B. None at all. Michael B. Jordan. I I I, I like Michael B. I, I got two of them really. Uh, I like what's the Winston dude? What's the dude? The little dog. Her. Mbaku. Yeah, I, I mess with him and uh, what's her name? Okay, okay, what's her name? Okoye. Okoye, okay. I like her. She, she a real one. Though. Oh, you talking about Michonne? Yeah, she was the shits, boy. She yeah. was the shits. Okoye was the shits, boy. Was that the one with hair or without hair? The bald head. The bald headed one. one. The bald headed yeah. one was badass. That's probably my yeah, second favorite character. Yeah. I fuck with her. Yeah. Just because I know everybody gonna pick Eric, but I feel like he she came on a different vibe, bro. You came on that black on black crime stuff, man. You got there, you should have got you a little, a little space in the kingdom, dog. You want to take over and all the extra shit. Uh, we, we'll get, the, the fuck the shit we up. definitely going to get to the, um, to the chief conflict. I mean, I mean you, the chief conflict. That's where you're yeah. going, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, we'll get there, but just for, for the sake character? of argument. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to recreate the wheel. Eric Killmonger, without a doubt. Next question. Y'all like the bad guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who, would you, who would you rock with? Okoye, all the way. Okoye as well. Yeah, all the way, for sure. Gangster. Yeah. She, um, I mean, she has, the people, I love the movie watching experience, because the people next to me in the movie, when she came on the screen, they was like, Michonne, and it was tapping, <laughs> and I was like, I like, I like that. I was, See, that's why I was, didn't watch the movie with niggas. I could not watch the movie with somebody that's going to, like, clap during the movie. No, oh, we was oh, having a good nigga excited. time in the theater. Yeah, no, I, didn't want a good I had a good nigga time. I definitely I had a good time. I wanted to watch time. the movie, because it was more so than me enjoying that it was a black movie, I enjoyed that it was a Marvel movie. Like, I wanted the Marvel experience first, then the black experience. We see what your loyalty uh, like. The MCU. That's what they call it. The Marvel <laughs> Cinematic Universe. I needed the black experience. I've had bla bad black experiences in oh, movies man. before where yeah. it's like, nigga, shut up. Yeah. But the black people that I was next to this time, they was they was, they was was on the same vibe I was in. Like, mm. They was laughing at the same jokes I was laughing yeah. at. Like, yo, know? like... Let me just tell you. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta admit that if I was in the theater with some, with some, um, uh, colors, uh, yeah, cir circus black, some circusy black people, some some, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> some people that that had some spirit. Um, I would have definitely, after I saw that handshake. Oh yeah, I would have yeah. one hundred percent did that handshake with somebody in the directly movie. after they did it. That yeah, would have been yeah. our handshake, even if I like never saw them were, again. When they was battling for the throne, and yeah. all the boys was <laughs> my favorite. Part. Oh yeah, you, yeah I was hype. I'm, I'm rolling if black, you watch hey. If you black and you watch Black Panther, when they was doing that, you did it too. <laughs> yeah. Your body's just all black. Not black. Oh, if you ain't, God, well, if, yeah, if, your shoulder, if your shoulders weren't bouncing too, especially when it got good and started getting closer. <laughs> Hey, now what if what if they what if when they put that on? Now let me see you bounce right to the left and do the show. The lens there. <laughs> no, I, I thought you was about to say that bow wow. Now let me see you bounce with. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much every song. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it. That was I was a big fan of that man. <laughs> bow wow. I'm talking about the dance. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean the movie. The movie ran. I mean, it's, I find it interesting that none of y'all said that T'Challa was your favorite character. Why would that be? I mean, he's set up to be the main character. He's Probably the main why. character, but I don't mean he's your favorite character. Yeah, I mean, not even uh, my favorite. I though. mean, I feel like he was the yeah. He's his main character. Everything kind of surrounded him, but there were other badass actors yeah. around him. I mean, I think he did a good job acting. Now he acted his ass off. I just feel like. As far as characters go, it's easy to like Michael B. Jordan, man. Like, he came from nothing. He, he got the little, you know, the little, um, what you call it, story, bro. Like, 
You know, he came from nothing with her. Yeah, he was all mad and shit. Yeah. And came with yeah. all that rage and daddy died. I saw claws in my father's chest. Came in there with all that shit. So it's easy like him, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a Cinderella story, bro. I agree. I ain't want to die for him. I don't think I don't think the fact that it was a, a rags to riches story or whatever you want to call it what, was what made me like him. I just like Michael B. Jordan. Like Michael B. Jordan himself is a charismatic person. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought like, you wanted to be Michael Jai White though, not Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> so so this shit about to be a breeze. So <laughs> Michael Jai White would beat the shit out of any character that <laughs> Michael B. Jordan ever played. Like, the actor, Michael Jai White, would kick any... Would kick the Black Panther's ass. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I got you. You want to be Mike? Okay. So, going a little bit back to what you guys just said, what was your favorite moment? The best moment in the film? And, I mean, they had a lot of good moments that you were like... I mean... Kind of going along the theme, I'll start, because going along with the theme of what y'all was just talking about with the black experience in the movie, mm-hmm. the part that had me just cracking up laughing more than anything was when T'Challa came back, right? And uh, Killmonger was the was was the Black Panther. <coughs> he was the king. He walks up to him and he was like, oh, I'm here to finish the cha- I'm here to finish and yeah. challenge for the throne. And that nigga said, nah, that challenge shit over. Oh, <laughs> He went straight, nah, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah. that challenge shit over, <laughs> man. Nah, I came bro. here to do that challenge shit. That shit done. That shit I just done. Bro. Bro. <laughs> and, 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 and along yeah. the same, along the same the lines. What you said? Along the same lines. <laughs> that just saying some nigga shit like that. When when your boy when Killmonger said this, that meant they 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 put him with the with the little juice, you know, with that purple yeah. drink, and yeah. um and put him under the sand. He saw his dad and everything, and then he got up. And he said, uh, yeah, so, you know, whatever, I'm the Black Panther now. Y'all go ahead and burn all this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all go ahead and burn all that. I'm like, what are we supposed to do? There will be no one else. <laughs> it don't matter. He said, I was saying, what about the Black Panthers after you said, ain't, ain't going to be nothing. Ain't going to be nothing. The last Black Panther. Feel me, what you like? What was your favorite moment, man? My favorite moment was when um they got the the European guy, Claus. Claus, and the white dude was talking to Black Panther, and Okoye was speaking in the language. And she goes, he goes, does she speak English? And she's like, when I want to, <laughs> and like, because nice. that's just classic, that typical point. shit. Where you know, you talk to a white American or whatever, they're like, could you guys speak English there? What kind of language you speak? And being like, yeah, hell yeah, we speak English. <laughs> <laughs> just choose not to when we don't want to. Yeah, hmm. that was pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I like. I, yeah, everybody part, but my favorite, I think my favorite was funny when a uh, white dude was interrogating uh, old buddy, and he was like, uh, they say you almost stole a little bit of it, you say, <laughs> a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> he started cracking up, I'm like, yeah, he said they got caves in it. Yeah, right? <laughs> that was funny. They got all the vibrations. I just want to say that, that you could tell that the movie was directed, like, just kind of like looking at everything that we said, you can tell that the movie was directed by a black person, because there was like yeah. undertones of blackness, so you know, yeah. of course, she had the 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 yeah. sassy black woman. You know, mm-hmm. Okoye was sassy, and then also I was gonna say that one of my favorite parts was just watching. I love I, 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 I love black love. I gotta say that. So whenever whenever um, T'Challa kissed Lupita, whatever, let's just call her Lupita. Whoever, whatever her name was, whenever yeah. he kissed her, her name was Nikia like, in the movie. Yes, oh, go ahead. but just to just to reference a Drake line where it says. We live in a generation of not being in love. No, not being together. Love. Yeah, not being together. But it sure feels like we together. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just okay. you got these undertones of blackness throughout the whole movie. So if a white person yeah. would have directed it, there is no way that it would have been any way anywhere as close to as black as it was. Like it was. He, it was he definitely don't say all the all, all that all that challenge shit over. He definitely don't say that. Yeah, <laughs> No, no, no. Um, what I think is interesting along the same lines of what you guys are saying is that um, Ryan Coogler, shout out, this podcast is brought to you by Ryan Coogler. Um, he did a great job of bringing together, and y'all keep talking about black people did it and black people did it. It's interesting that what Femi just picked up on and what he was talking about was a moment where it's like, do you speak um, English? And I speak English when I want to. It's something that maybe someone with, who thinks about how 
how European people look at black people or look at African people mm -hmm. as a certain way. And we laughing at parts that we think of, mm -hmm. you know, how mm -hmm. uh, an, an American yep. um, would handle a certain situation if they yeah. were faced with it in Africa. <clears throat> I think he did a great job of kind of doing this underlying connection of Af different African people, mm -hmm. people of the diaspora and people of Africa, like all in the movie, the people he cast. Chadwick Boseman, I, like I'm, I, I'm going to admit this. When Chadwick Boseman played Jackie Robinson, mm -hmm. I remember telling somebody, and, and then um, I don't remember who the guy's name is, but um, the other guy played Martin Luther King in Selma. And I was like, um, that Nigerian dude, and I was like, why, why African dudes get to play Jackie Robinson and Martin Luther King? <laughs> I didn't know Chadwick Boseman was just a regular black yeah, dude from, yeah, from South yeah, Carolina. Yeah. So you got a regular black dude from South Carolina and Chadwick Boseman. You got um, Michonne. She's a Zimbabwean American. You got mm -hmm. Lupita, who's a Kenyan. Yeah. The Winston Duke dude, the dude y'all both like, um, M'Baku. Yeah, He's a West Indian dude. Um, the dude from Get Out. His, in this movie, his name was Wakabi. He was, he's yeah, from, obviously, a British dude, right? I don't like him. And then there's another Ugandan American. Like, they have a whole bunch of different type of black people from different parts, just darker skinned people from all over the globe represented in the movie. And I think he had little lobs to everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, they did their job. Everybody recently. had their moment, though. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. had a five-year little part yeah. of the movie where you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and they stuck out and got a chance to really show their talents, man. It, they did, man. They both did a great job, man. Like, I really appreciate this movie. It's one of the best ones I've seen in a long time. You know Even what? Was I, bad, I, I was going to say that. I got to go back. <laughs> I got to go back to what I said about enjoying it as a Marvel movie first and then a black. Okay. I think when the movie started, I enjoyed that. I, I was anticipating it being the Marvel movie. Like, regardless of what Marvel movie it was, I was going to go see it. Regardless if it was black or, or a white cast. Doesn't matter. But after watching it, definitely appreciated a little bit more because it was a black movie. Most of the times, and it doesn't matter to me which how y'all feel about what I'm going to say, most black movies are usually... Pretty low budget. To see a high budget, top Damn grossing Trump. movie actually be, well, I mean, you know, if you, you think Trump spits the truth, you know, then be able to <laughs> But Frank that's news, the truth. Uh, I'll agree with you. To see a, 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 a high budget um, black movie gross as much as it did and break as many records, Rotten Tomatoes has this movie rated as the number one movie of all time right now. Yeah. That made me proud. Recency bias, but go ahead. What is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that, though, because uh, for me, when I look at movies, all kinds of movies, right? Every time there's a black production, if it's not Tyler Perry quality, it's tough to see other movies that's actually up to par, right? I'm not a Marvel fan. I don't follow Marvel comics or whatever. So my experience was more the black experience. And like you said, black diversity all over the, the, the American guy the different Africans from all over the world, the names that they have, like there's a, an Igbo name in there from Nigeria, there's a, um, a Yoruba name, Kenyan name, all these things. And for me, watching the movie, the soundtrack, all kinds of African music mm. from different parts. Mm -hmm. So if a guy that's not into Marvel goes to see the movie, there's something that you resonate with. Marvel guy goes to see the movie, something you resonate with. Mm. And African Americans, same thing. So you're right. Um, did a stellar job just catching everyone's experience. The what I think is I guess, what I think yeah. is interesting. You you spoke to the um, to the to the soundtrack, and I think you're talking more about the score, right? The soundtrack was like the Kendrick Lamar thing, right? Right. right. Just the movie score, and I, that's score, what Roger was doing right, too, right? right? He was talking about a Drake song that we kind of it kind of passed us, yeah. like it passed, like we didn't even know what he was talking about yeah. just now. But he was just talking about that that was kind of playing in the background right. during during that part of the thing. But yeah, that's. Something else you mentioned, um, Femi, when we talked earlier this week, you said that you thought it was a great representation of different tribes. Yes. Like, there was tribal representations. Yes. And you're talking about, just now, when you just gave us that context of the names being different. To us, I'm going to be honest, Roger, I mean, Raj, <laughs> Los, you probably feel the same way. Um, Ayo, Zuri, Nakia, um, Ramonda, that in Jobu, that all sound like African names to Everybody us. Everybody African. It's all just African names. None of them sound distinctive. Yeah. The, like said, what yeah. you just said is you saw a lot more intricacies in that part of the movie. Right. right. So <clears throat> right. talk about the different tribes that you saw in there and like kind of some of those things. I mean, like, for example, the the first king. Mm-hmm. 
when um what is his name? T'Chaka. Uh, T'Chaka. When Chadwick Boseman got on the sand, mm-hmm. went to see his father, what he was wearing, that robe thing that's tied all over, that's like innate to the Igbo tribe mm-hmm. in uh, Nigeria. And then there's one of the tribes when they were doing the, the ritual fight, the guy with the, the big thing in, thing thing in the mouth. What is that called? I have no idea what that's oh. called. I'll be honest <laughs> I, with you. I thought it was called a dinner plate. That's like more Central African. Yeah, like a little, you know when you steal uh, when you steal a saucer. Stuff? Yeah, a little saucer from the witchcraft for your ashtray for your car. Right. That's so what I thought it was. There's, there's the, I'd probably say the Maasai tribe, okay. which is more Central African. They have like stuff they put in their ears. The big thing, yeah. She had the whole, the, uh, yeah. yeah. She the, the, the choker thing. The choker yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, so there's all those little accents in there. And up until recently, when you talk to an African guy and say Africa, they're like, yeah, Africa, but it's a I'm, whole bunch, yeah. I'm Nigerian, I'm Kenyan, I'm mm. this and that. This is the first time where you had all of Africa representation in one. And they did a good job. They did an amazing job, man. And, and it, they even caught the part that African tribes don't always get along. Mm-hmm. It was subtle. It was just initially there. But they're still under one umbrella they, as well. Though. Under one umbrella. They were able yeah. to get together. It's like we all stand in Crenshaw with different gangs, but... We represent Crenshaw. Exactly. So we've said this on the podcast before. You probably wouldn't wouldn't be privy to this um, to, to know that we talk about this all the time. But we all three from Louisiana, where we grew up. It was black people. It was white people. That's it. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the Asian. Yeah. Like when we moved to, all of us moved out of the state, and specifically when we moved to Houston. I mean, if, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna take it a step back. When I went to college. I knew a girl named Renita Madu, and the whole time I just thought she was just a black, regular black chick. Yeah. I didn't like, like I didn't have any concept of her, like that she was African and that meant anything different. Than, and then I was like, oh, you're African, and I just thought that was all the same thing. It took me moving to Houston to be like, oh, these are Nigerian people mm-hmm. meeting Mo. This podcast is brought to you by Mo Gotti, but being like, <laughs> it, like, oh, that's a Liberian dude. Yeah, that's yeah. different. Oh, I, I'm Evo. working with a guy from you're Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. maybe we knew the difference between. Um, like Ethiopian people, yeah, Somalian people, mm-hmm. we might have a, an idea like yeah. uh, Eritrean. They have different features and all that. Yeah, yeah. They, all a African little bit more distinctive yeah. features, yeah. but and they always had the answer on the test. <laughs> always said by all the answers. <laughs> that is ridiculous. So I mean, let's 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 go back to it, man. Because I, I pulled you away from something you were talking about just a little bit, um, a little bit more, and it's the major premise of the movie. It's the conflict. The chief conflict is amongst African Americans. That's why. Right. Or African Americans and Africans. We're yeah. gonna have to use some different language. The thought that I had is I received a call yesterday from um what this podcast brought to you by Dre Hype, and he said um he said some of the same things you said. And I'm gonna let you articulate it. Mm-hmm. But he said he didn't like the fact that it was black on black, the two main male black characters. He said the movie could have been done in a way that um, Claw ended up being the villain. Yeah. And then he took they over. teamed up against him. Yeah, that's what I was hoping Okay, for. so go ahead. Speak I, to I just didn't like that. I, f- I feel like both of those guys were too par- powerful and great to be going at each other. Even the fights and stuff were good. The, I, the challenge part was one of my favorite parts, too. That was a great challenge, uh, you know, in the water and stuff. But I just didn't like the, the black-on-black crime aspect of it. For me, I just feel like it took a little bit away from the movie, even though I enjoyed the movie, but I just wish... I was thinking they were gonna team up against the dude with the cannon. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was gonna he was gonna cross old buddy and they was gonna team up against him and then they was gonna come together and really show like unity I thought, you know. But it didn't happen that way. Or the FBI guy was gonna mess around and get over there and snitch and bring his people over and they was gonna team up against them so they wouldn't come over there and take out a vibranium. But you know, it went that way, it was good, but I just didn't like like it was one they he broke up their, their own little tribe. Like it was like the Crips and like Pyrus, they split and like, okay, we Crips and Bloods now and then he went over here and went over there. Cause he had um, Black Panther had all the girls, mm-hmm. but I take them any day. They, they, they some soldiers. They bad ass. But, but but um, you know, and do had. But I just didn't. I ain't like that part of. It. I just wish it would have went a different. Like, I gotta. I have to. I have to interject. I a little different about. <coughs> Hold up, quick. Russ. Cut. What you got I gotta right? interject here. So here's here's where here's where um, the problem with us watching the movie, it's a comic book depiction. So everything that happened in this movie, for the most part, other than the things that were that were made for movie quality, were in the comic book. I know it that. wasn't. It wasn't based on how black people want to see it. It was based on how the comic went eighty yeah. years ago. So okay. they couldn't just change it and make make yeah, friends. You, you, you can't hey. all be friends. And and to Spider-Man be honest with you, I think that that, that outlook on it 
that outlook on the whole like oh black on black crime i think that that like if you look at the movie and you stop watching it at a certain point then maybe you might get that aspect but i think after old boy beat him after after eric killmonger was defeated and they kind of began friends and whatever at and on his death at his death that was all right with me you know what mm-hmm. i mean like i was i, I was fine with life. the i'll give it well for me again I'm not a Marvel fan. Mm. I don't follow Marvel, so I don't know the comic history. But the black on black crime is very culturally representative to the African culture, mm. even the black culture in America. Yeah. Like we we tend to, you know, conflict all the time. Um, why are African countries still behind? We're a country reach of resources, land, all these things, right? <coughs> Talent, yet, but we can't we can't cut it because we we tend to we can't see beyond our personal goals or whatever we want for ourselves and bridge the gap of cultural divide Mm. so i saw that as typical nigeria where you have the yorubas Igbos, and the hausas in one country and we really just can't get along Mm. you know there's always one two against one or one against two or something happening right Right. i like the fact that at the end of the day they came together right even the start of it where they had the um the guys in the what is it called (laughs) <laughs> in the mountains, oh, yeah. right? That came to challenge, mm-hmm. right? At the end of the day, Breach. he came and supported. He, he helped them out, yeah. Exactly. Even cool. though historically, like they don't get along. Yeah. They, they don't mix, they don't do stuff together. I like that part. That's why I say I like him because he's yeah. real. He's Breach, real. Yeah. Brother. I like that part. I like that part of it. But yeah. then, but the history behind the conflict is real. Yeah. It happens. It's yeah. still there. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I got like it. I, I think I agree. Not even I think. I know I agree with you guys in that regard. But I'm gonna and but this would be my 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 counter to the non-black on black, and it, it kind of runs a, l- a little parallel to what you're saying. If it had been that movie with us, with 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 the Black Panther and his part and Black Panther party, his party <laughs> going against the white guys or the white invaders, that'd be a cool movie. But the moment Eric Killmonger's backstory comes to fruition. Mm-hmm. That was the most, it might not have been my favorite part of the movie, but I literally got emotional when I saw that part. Yeah. When, and, and I'm going to pinpoint the, the most emotional part of the movie for me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in, 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 in this phrase, I'm going to put the juxtaposition of them two events next to each other. When T'Challa goes and he becomes the Black Panther, and he mm-hmm. goes under the sand and he goes to the ancestral plane. He sees his, all of the Panthers in the mm-hmm. tree, right? He sees his dad. He sees um, his great grandparents mm-hmm. and all these other Black Panthers of the past, and it's beautiful imagery and all the rest of this good stuff. And you're sitting here like, "Wow, this is this is deep. This is powerful." He's talking to his dad, and, his, and he's like, "I'm not ready to lose you." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "But I prepared you to be a king, so you're prepared to do this." And it was a, it was a powerful moment. And I'm like, "This is a good movie." But when Killmonger did the yeah, same I'll... thing, mm-hmm. he goes to an apartment yeah. Yeah. in Oakland. Yeah. And he don't have his grandparents, his great grandparents. What? It's just his dad. Mm-hmm. That's the only person he knows. Yeah. And he and he responds and tells him, "Niggas die every day yeah. over here, yeah. B. <laughs> like I, I I can't be that sad about it." And then they both start crying. That that was an emotional scene because I think it was just a microcosm of that the the seed that they planted there of African Americans kind of always having what's the right word. There's going to be some kind of deep-rooted jealousy Mm -hmm. of people of African descent because they know their great-great-great-great-grandparents back to generations Mm -hmm. back. Some of us only know up to maybe two or three great-grandparents and then Mm -hmm. slavery and then it's done. Mm -hmm. And you don't know your cultural identity Mm -hmm. and background. And they put the juxtaposition of those two main characters against each other. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm here for this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm here to watch yeah, the rest yeah, of this yeah, movie yeah. to see yeah. to see where they where, where they go. take me. Yeah. 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 So I was I was all I like about that, that type of yeah. thing. Yeah, I like no, I love that. That was that was beautifully said. I just hope that my ancestor didn't give away all the vibranium to, to uh, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no. With that being said, his plan was stupid as shit because, like, <laughs> what are the niggas going to do what with the vibrator? Niggas? Like, you can't just go give niggas vibrator. Yeah, he was flying it out, too, though. Like, like, like it was dope. Yeah. You cannot give I'd be pretty mad. I'm not going to lie. I'd be like, Dad, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't understand why you would give the vibranium to that white man. Uh, can we you explain that to me before I take a side? You know? Because yeah. if not, no, I'm going to hang out with the his child. His plan is to go give vibranium to Nunu. 
in Tawaski now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who? Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. give it to the new them so they can overcome. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> and they kill each other <laughs> because that's how we'll, we shall overcome. She, and she then the whole uh, block up with <laughs> but but his daddy one was I'm gonna give it to uh I'm gonna give it to Akko and them, and uh and we gonna be nice because Akko gonna put us on. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean I don't know if that's what his daddy plan was. His daddy they never really got to 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 hash that out. I would love to see that whole movie. Yeah. Oh shit! He, he was in that bitch with a Huey P. Newton poster hey. next to a Public Enemy that poster with the with the drop down nineties yeah. African pride feel going on with the AKs in that apartment. Yeah, I was like, like a different world in there with I the hair and bone chain. I was, like, like, yeah. I was <laughs> loving that. That boy's, that boy's in a different world, bro. That was a different world. But he basically said, "I came over here to be a spy, and then yeah, I fell in love. I fell in love with the culture. Yeah. I know what this you is. You go up. black, you don't go back. Not even to become." I also want to say another part, <clears throat> another another favorite phrase of that movie is when Killmonger said, "What's up, Auntie?" What's like, up, Auntie? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, that was that was good. <laughs> but um, the major premise of the movie, obviously, we just talked about a couple of times, but it's like. Should they help other black people? Should Wakanda be spreading its futuristic wealth to the disadvantaged black communities around the world Hell rather no. than keeping its resources a secret? Go ahead. Hell no. Some things black we just don't need as black people. And that's those type of weapons and able to heal, we don't need that. We can, some stuff you just can't give us. Especially with our directions, you ain't gonna put the instructions in the box. You're just gonna give it to us and be like, <laughs> hey, this shit here cold. It is. <laughs> you see what happened? They gave us crack. Look what happened there. Everybody, mom, we got so I don't think crack was ever a We'd have been, right? been okay. Yeah, I don't think crack was ever like a, 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 a advanced technology, though, you know? Should have gave us instructions. <laughs> it might have been advanced <laughs> technology. It definitely like, was an advanced technology. Like if a nigga like ever got a cut. Out? A big, a bad cut where it needed stitches. You didn't rub crack on it and it healed it. Didn't, it didn't <laughs> no, you smoked it, so you wouldn't feel it, boy. Same shit. Robot yeah, You wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, it's, it's talks about isolationism and should we kind of isolate ourselves and our resources or should we spread that, keep ourselves safe? I don't know. Some stuff you definitely isolate from black folk and that's one of them. No. you saying isolated from, from black folks. I'm just saying they could have been using vibranium to help People all over the world. I get that. True. They, they no. could have been doing that, but I didn't know that um, Eric Killmonger's approach was the solution. I mean, you don't just fly out no, resources like that and give not. to people. Um, you know, educate them, um, bring them to Wakanda, have them reach the community and start growing from there, but not just like, hey, here you go, go fight. Wars. Which is why, you know, which is know. why, at the, towards the end of the movie, when T'Challa... Took like he he felt he felt Killmonger he felt him like he it wasn't yeah, just yeah, like I yeah, hate yeah. this he guy him. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah he felt yeah. him and he opened up outreach centers you know yeah, and, right. and showed cool. the showed the plane at the right. at the basketball right. court with the yeah. I don't know right. why after twenty years they couldn't have put up a, a rim they still was playing with the uh with the wicker basket you know with it's the called, milk, it's called milk the carton. hood bro it's the hood yeah it's so did you shoot on did you shoot in a milk carton definitely did. <laughs> Five on five, full court. I hate you. I hate you. You did not <laughs> shoot in a damn milk cart, nigga. <laughs> Get out of here. Right. From the, hey, I'm coming back to we're coming to kill y'all, motherfuckers. I was looking at something. I was reading this article, and it's a, it's a good one that y'all should. Um, if you got some time, you should check it out. It's by Jelani Cobb, and it's in the New Yorker, mm. and it's um called like Black Panther and the Invention of Africa. And they, he goes into this big thing where um, where he says that he went to, back in the day, he pulled up to one of the islands that was like the, the, the start of the transatlantic slave trade. And the residents of the island greeted him like he was long lost kin. Like um, they were like, hey, like welcome brothers and sisters and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And was and was hype about it. But he said later over dinner, a, a woman from Senegal informed him that there was neither siblings nor distant kins to Africa, implying that the greetings in the market had merely been a clever sales tactic directed at gullible black Americans who traveled to the continent in search of their roots. <laughs> wow. As if they were abused foster kids, futilely wow. seeking their birth parents. You are Americans. That's all, she said. The exchange took place 15 years ago, but he could still recall the words like hanging in the air like a guilty verdict. It basically talks about like our sense and our longing and our romance with, with this movie, with, with, um, with, with Wakanda. It's kind of how we feel about Africa. Like it's the motherland. But for all of the people of the diaspora that's all over the world, like all of the black people in, in Panama and in, mm -hmm. in Brazil and here and in wherever else, 
that we kind of look at Africa like this motherland place that if we go there that we'll be home yeah. around something. That's no, but that ain't the, that ain't the. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> Expound on that for that's, me, that's, man. That's not it. Um, well, Afri- Africa, Nigeria of today is is like America. I mean, the people that are doing well, the people that are not doing very well. Unfortunately, people that are not doing very well are popular, the most, the majority, right? Mm. And uh, if you go to Nigeria, you're going to have people walk up to you. They know, they smell you. They can mm. tell you're not from there. Even me, when I go home, mm. I don't, I try not to speak English. I speak Yoruba. Mm. Um, and even okay, at that, they can still tell. Sure. Oh, didn't I'm not Yoruba. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's Yoruba. I don't know. Anyway, so. So what you're saying is you didn't need the you, subtitles. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So, um, you know, they come at you. They try to be hospitable. You know, let me help you do this. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll carry your bag and help you. At the end of the day, they're money. either going to steal from you hmm. or they're going to ask you for money. Um, right, take- there's always a, a reason. And it's, it's a poverty mentality, you know, because everyone wants to get over on the next. They're scams. Um, scammers, right. Um, th- there's a lot of that going on. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't say it's like your African prince that you get the emails from. That's another level. Okay? Uh, that's, that's different. I sent him I sent him a thousand dollars every time he asked. So they can give me a million. Every no, time. It'd be not. like three hundred and fifty six million though. Yeah. I need you to send me seventy five dollars and I'm gonna send you three hundred and fifty six million. I'd be sure, like, yeah. nigga, please. Yeah. <laughs> every but time these these guys they don't make anything. They live on maybe twenty dollars a month. And right. they have children. Right? And they see people driving G Wagons, Rolls Royce yeah. and all these things. And those guys don't see them. So here you come in to Africa, you're absorbing everything, Mm -hmm. you're greeting everyone. When I walk into the airport, I'm not having conversation with anybody. I'm just going to go do what I got to do and get out of there. Mm -hmm. But you get in there and you're seeing everything. Case in point, I went to Nigeria with my brother-in-law who's American Mm -hmm. in 2010 years ago, family wedding. And um, I get there, we get in the car, we're going down the highway and he's looking at all these things and we're just nonchalant on our phones doing stuff and he's like man like that's that guy's begging that guy's doing this and he's a cripple and this and that there was a guy that was walking around with a IV bag and like a bandage on his arm well, she did. and he broke down like oh my god what the hell and I'm kind of like where are you from what yeah, he's from Houston Kansas he's from, oh that's why he's from Kansas, Kansas. No, 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 but... so I'm like there's no hospital in Nigeria that's going to let you out of there with an IV bag yeah. connected to you. It's all a, a way to pull yeah. your yeah. emotional strings and have you give money. Yeah. It's not a, oh, welcome home. It's not that. I do. I'm missing that every day. Later, have six kids out there tomorrow. They don't know where to stay, but they got half of <laughs> So you, you're talking about it as like a disconnect even amongst yourself in, in Nigeria in that way. Correct. So when when I start talking about that central conflict being amongst and 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 the fact that I was here for the movie, which is African Americans, I like to refer to that term as I, I mean I, I've I know we fought for the right to be called African American in in the in the states, but I like to call myself black. Mm-hmm. Um, but as black I... people and African people, like that's the like in in my mind, that's the conflict, like the 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 African country of Wakanda and the outsider black dude from the United States. Coming with it, di- and those those are the the, the conflict there. Mm-hmm. My point is, where do you see yourself more in which one of those circles? I mean, you were. Go ahead. You were born. At, what, were, <sighs> were you born here? Where were you? Born? I'm I'm in a tough position. Yeah. Now, because yes, I was born and raised in Nigeria. Okay. I came to America to go to school, and I've been here ever since. How long? Uh, when I've been you here since I was sixteen, twenty years. Okay. So I've been in America more years than in Nigeria. Okay. Right. Yeah. And. So in America, even till today, you have an accent. Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And so, sometimes I don't have, want to have a conversation. I just send from Houston and that's it, right? Third water. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, With that third water. You know, <laughs> third water. <laughs> so wherever I'm at in, in, in America, I'm African. I look African. I was outside a restaurant last week, Thursday. And this dude walks up and says, you're African. I know you're African. Give me five bucks. And I'm kind of like, what? You know, I didn't even have a conversation, but you can tell that I'm African, right? He probably okay, thought you was. Go back home. You sent him that email. Probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> African prince, right? Definitely. So I go back home, and they can smell that I'm not from home. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Um, I remember the first time I went home after being here for like five, six years, I felt like I was blind. Like, you know, you're going to a place that you're familiar and you're looking at it and it's, it's just not the same, mm. you know? So that, I had to like adjust to that. And then when I'm interacting with people, I've become so Americanized in my thought process that it's hard. And then those people that you're interacting with, they already know and they're ready to just like get you, mm -hmm. right? The cops, they're fucking assholes. Like they're the ones that you should be worried about, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Because those guys will tax the hell out of you. So I'm not a, a killmonger because mm -hmm. I'm not born and raised in America. I'm not T'Challa mm -hmm. because I didn't live my entire life in Nigeria, Wakanda. So in, in Wakanda. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like, yeah, damned no if I don't, damned if, you know, it's, yeah. it's kind of like in between there. So it kind of sucks sometimes, but then. No, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that it sucks. You know. You wouldn't I say, wouldn't it, say sucks. that it sucks. No, that doesn't suck. That's, I'm not, I mean, you know, what, I guess it's all about how you look at it, but I don't think it, I mean, it doesn't suck. You know, that's like, that's like if a white person was like, oh yeah, nah, I'm somewhere in between Europe and America. You know, like, mm. that doesn't suck. You just, uh, <laughs> something but American, the, the you know? The difference between that, the difference between the, the Europeans, whites, and the American whites, is that they're all westernized. Mm. Mm. They don't really, they don't feel a loss of identity. It's a whole different culture. Over it's, a, it's, 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 mm. exactly. So, there are lots of com commonalities mm. and all that stuff between... Europeans and Americans or Australians and and British people, lots of commonalities, right? But then it's night and day from here to some in some right, places over right. there. So my friends in Nigeria call me Nigerian American. Mm. And oh, it took me a while to get racist. that into that. Like I'm Nigerian. No, no, you're Nigerian American. <laughs> so it's, there's a, there's a shift in identity there. So just because you've been over here too long, they say oh, you're Americanized, man. So I guess it's, we would be Louisiana Houston people. I, I wouldn't be a Louisiana Houston, <laughs> definitely Houstonian. Houstonian. No. Yeah, possibly. But I, I would still just. Think of I, I mean, anybody that I, so. I know you. Know, I know you got to answer to the Nigerians, but if you had to answer to the Americans, especially if the you know the white people was looking at you, just my the assumption for me. I don't know if it's for y'all, but the assumption for me is that all Nigerian, everybody from Africa that's you know black. Um, got that Lehman, so that's just what I would, I would tell. Her. I would be like, I got that Lehman though. So, <laughs> Mendingo. Well, that's that's a yeah. different story for another day. That's a different story for another day, man. Well, I would buy that. I would shine. Yeah, yeah, you already know how that goes. Yeah, that's some tilting service is over here. Yeah, tilting no <laughs> service, girl. If you want to do research on that, go you want that bladder? <laughs> I'm not gonna do any research. Just you want to go do research, Ross? If you want to do research, like go to Australia. You know, I, you know, once, or, once or twice, I've been. You know, I'm just saying. I've you know trained. You know, whatever. And I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go with a, a no koye. I'm not. I'm not going with uh, Chichala to the train mission. I'm not doing it. You're not going, and you're going late. No. You got to go no, after that boy. Mm -mm. Hot dog in the hallway. <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> like like your boy in porn, he didn't name himself um Chicago. He named himself <laughs> right. Mandingo. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So that's all I'm saying. I hear you. I hear you. What um so a couple of other little tidbits from the movie that I saw online, you know how social media does it. Well before I even get into some social media things, um I felt like one other thing that you guys mentioned, but you know, we didn't jump into too hard, is that this movie is a celebration of women in the Me Too era. Yeah. Like with they, 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 they. People have realized that women having strong women roles is good for movies. And if one thing you understand is if you put black women, right. strong black women right. in a movie, and you know black people gonna watch this gonna movie, shine. them black women gonna love it. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be nice. Like yeah, it was, it was good. I like how they represented black women in this. I movie. mean, I think it, it stuck out too. Like, I was like, I, would, I wanted the women soldiers on my team. Yeah, because they, I mean, they, 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 they oh, were gonna shine. Never seen before. It was acting totally different <laughs> than they do when you eat them at the club. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Old like, girl rip her own weave off. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> through yeah. that sword. Through yeah. that yeah. No, yeah. not even that she ripped it off. She didn't even want it on her head. She didn't want it on yeah. the first place. She yeah. wanted to be bald head. Yeah. Like she she tattooed a razor line on her. Like that's so five hundred dollars for some hair and two hundred to get it sewn in. Five hundred dollars. Some girls are paying thousand dollars. Yeah. For and this lady, she want to be bald head. <laughs> Ladies, what we saying? Embrace your bald head. You ain't got no edges. You ain't got to wear no weave. And, and I was talking to a bald headed girl. Who me? Yeah. Would I? Yeah. 
Yeah, she was nice. Like, yeah. If she rocks, well, you know, she gotta be like, like that. Huh? Be Will you holler out a coin? She too strong for me. She can be ah! like, I can't talk to her with my ass. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> she been yeah. put that little sword up. You say you don't, stupid. Say you don't make a nut. So look that little <laughs> look that little underlying theme though, cause Killmonger old lady was a was a little westernized looking chick with the with the weave. Yeah, he, 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 he shot her. Yeah, shot her. His name is Killmonger. Real, hey, right. That wasn't real, that that been been down the for livest. Yeah, she was, but he ain't love it. <laughs> no, she was down for right. him, and she worked at the TCBY in the mall. So like, <laughs> she was cold. Yeah. Hey, right. But he killed her. Wouldn't that have been the livest nickname coming up in New Iberia cutting? Killmonger cutting. <laughs> Killmonger. Cause what she, why they call you Killmonger? Because I just be killing everything. Cause I'm, like, kill, I'm a Killmonger. Cause. Killmonger. They gonna have but a yeah, little bit of gonna be called look, Killmonger. They, they put that subliminal. His girl got that nice hair, that weave, and we killed her. Notice one, though. There were no lighter skin yeah. girls, people in general. Oh, yeah. It was brown. I mean, dark. Michael B. Jordan would be that like the That was intentional. Lighter. Yeah. You think yeah. No light skin girl. We bet. No yeah. flowy long hair. No Rogers, stuff curry. None of that. No. Stuff. You know what I mean? No Nothing against you know. No Clay who? Thompson. Or, no Rogers in there. Long hair, but who is Roger? Who Joe? Bro, I'm Rogers. the same color as you. Roger Why is the same color as us. What no, are you talking not. about? Why do you think you dark? Oh yeah. <laughs> why do you think you black? Yeah. Yeah. Why you think you? Why you think we the same skin color? No, we not. Boy, look at me. This boy, we matching. <laughs> well, I'm trying to talk to you. Just a little bit, though, boy. Y'all you know not saying? ranking y'all blackness right now. Is that what we doing? I'm talking to everybody in this room except him. <laughs> hey, look at this. But no, I, I don't think I really made that. Black man right, right. wishing we was dark. Like, right. like right. used, to, be, used to be like, oh, no, I want to be a little lighter than it. No, nah, nah, I, mean, I want to be dark. I want to see the sun all summer. Right. I ain't even going to the house. It's a celebration of darkness. I want to have an accent, too. I want that You want to have an accent? Absolutely. Raj gonna listen to this podcast over and over, and then next thing you know, he's gonna sound just like Phil. <laughs> <laughs> See, actually, <laughs> how can you turn down a pussy like this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Yeah. So something else I saw, your boy um, Mbaku, who everybody seemed to like, um, the, the the dude who was barking at that white boy. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, yep, hey, yep, yep, hey, yep. Hey, hey, he hey, saved hey. that man' life with snow, though. How you do that? I mean, they was doing their thing. Um, so they had the meme that's running around online with him grabbing the dude, talking about their favorite part in the movie was when the Qs came to save the Deltas from the sickness. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> um, I, I would just like to um, personally say, fuck whoever came up with that meme. Um, <laughs> that blue fire bitch. Like, just, <laughs> I'm just going just gonna to put that out there. Sigmas don't like that um, for, at all. But I think that's interesting that you were saying that um, old girl, we're, we're, gonna, we're just going to call her Michonne because that's what she is in The Walking Dead, bald head girl with the, the leader of the yeah. of the chicks. When she got into that um, altercation with Get Out Boy, mm-hmm. with Kabi. Oh, she told that boy. He she said she picked love. the country over the... Um, she said, my love, would you kill me? A Wakanda. Yes. That boy said, oh, stop this shit. Nah, man. That boy stopped everything. Hey. <laughs> That's it. Hey. I don't know. I didn't like that part of it. I didn't like the whole concept of the fact that he won the election or the, the, the fight fair and square to be the king. And then all of a sudden, he comes back like, oh, I'm still here. No, you lost. Why are y'all jumping on his side? He definitely did lose, though. Because I mean, you got to tap lost. out if or die. He elect, would... But he had to die. Or... He had to die. Or tap out. Exactly. Okay. They cheated, and none of that no. He didn't. Okay. He didn't. He didn't die. die. And he didn't die. But did you die? But he didn't die. But the the point is, you got to fight again. But Michael B. Jordan. Listen, what I'm him. saying. People came and helped him out of the water, put him on ice, and gave him the Black Panther juice. Yeah, that's true. They cheated, couldn't? Hey, that's not cheating. Cheat. He is the Patriots of superheroes, though. I'm not mad about that. Cheat and repeat, brother. <laughs> I don't think. I don't gotta... think it's cheating. I think the boy. You, you think, think the boys cheating? knew? Like the 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 cues wasn't at the the Q dogs wasn't at the fight, so they just <laughs> saw they T'Challa down there chilling, yeah, and it was like, damn, that's T'Challa. Got to try to get that boy. Yeah, like some other niggas, like some fishermen niggas found T'Challa. And it was yeah, like, oh shit, that's, who is this guy? So, and then they brought when he came back like, oh, shit, over there, let me ask you a question. When he came back over there, he said, um, the battle not over. So he want to fight again with no with, with the Black Panther juice still in it? No, they got to they take it from you. He didn't course. do that, though. He ran on it. <laughs> they both, to. But they both had the Black Panther juice. And you yeah. know, Killmonger was... But they did fight, 
and for like thirty minutes in the Black Panther. Well, in the that with that place where they in took the, off the, in the uranium, subway. The, oh yeah, yeah. 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 They so they thing, did that. And she turned them on. It, it yeah, takes they power the sound, the, time. the sonic, whatever. Well, he ain't knew this Black yeah. Panther juice was gonna be wired off because he didn't know the inner workings of that thing. No, but T'Challa knew. Yeah, yeah. But also, so he had this thing. If you're thinking like a, if you're thinking like a smart person, that man had already burned all the shit. So, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what you gonna do? Oh, yeah, we're gonna take the Black Panther juice from you. Oh, and then neither one of y'all niggas gonna ever be the Black Panther again. Yeah, so, nobody's the Black Panther. Because they burned that shit Nobody. Down. We don't have two Black Panthers or no Black Panther? Yeah. Two, two so they had Black to. Panthers. <laughs> you can't have two Black Panthers. Well, I mean, you did have a Bobby Seale and a Huey Newton, so you gotta have, like, That's two true. main Black Panthers. But not them two boys. Do you think, <laughs> do you think, as a black person, that every black person should have to see this movie? Mm. Yes. Is that like a requirement? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Then go ahead and cue up the cue yeah. up the music for Uncle Smooth's cabin. Cause that's <laughs> what's going on. Right now. Open up the cabin door. Open, open up the cabin door. Man. Derek Mike Carter. What are you looking at? Uncle Smooth's cabin. <laughs> Chicken and giblets are over there. Or else y'all just become another log in Uncle Smooth's cabin. Being black for some reason, there are movies that you're supposed to see. I can't tell you how many times I've been hit with the, bruh. You never seen insert black movie here. So with that being said, going forward, my black friends and acquaintances will never be able to hit me with the whole bruh. You never seen Black Panther? Because in the ending words of Jalen Ramsey, I saw that bitch and I liked it. <laughs> I did, however, have a few things that I noticed during watching the movie and also a few questions. So there were a number of tribes that were shared in the fortunes that came along with the vibranium asteroid. I don't recall the names of every one of them, but was Zamunda one of them? And was it me? Or was uh, that the same mom or queen from Coming to America? Hmm. <laughs> also, I want to applaud the nigga from Get Out for leaving them white bitches alone and getting back to his roots. You found him a fine-ass, bald head, tall, onyx black thing. You go, boy. <laughs> and just to think, you was almost in the depths of a white man's soul. One question that I had was, how in the world did your boy eat or drink with that dinner plate in his mouth? Nobody else in the movie had that accessory. What a unique man. (laughs) If they would have left all of us in Africa, panel discussion. Which member of Best Friend Weekend Podcast, or Team Nice, would be the guy with the dinner plate permanently in his mouth? (laughs) Leave that up to, to, to question. Last but not least, it wouldn't be right if I didn't bring a sports reference into the fold. Applause and praise, more so respect, goes out to the Major League Baseball Association. If I remember right, the MLB was once looking for a colored boy to join the ranks of the whites already a part of the league. Is there any surprise that they chose the Black Panther? Jackie Robinson, number 42? I mean, let's be real, who would you choose to swing that log? And speaking of logs, that was just another log in Uncle Smooth's cabin. (laughs) (laughs) That's 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 what you wanted to do? Boy, you wild. Yeah, I guess that it could it. be required black Literally. literature, man. I mean, I'm black film. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, cool it with it. It has to be. I saw something cool as shit online. One of my homeboys, his his son, he and he, he lives in uh, Cinco Ranch. This podcast is brought to you by Cool D. And he had um, a picture of his son's door from his classroom on Monday on for President's Day. And they were like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And one kid was like a president and it was like a doctor, lawyer, or whatever. And they got to his little boy. Black Panther. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A basketball. I love player. it. Like, that's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Blowing the <laughs> grand door. My own be a black A panther. vibranium thief. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to be, huh? Yeah. Um, so, a little bit of backlash from the whites. Oh. Uh, there we go. Um, a little bit of the less known, but they said all Panthers matter. So, why did it have to be the Black Panther? This is a real thing. I can't... I mean, oh, wow. I can't make that up. Wow. <laughs> But another one that was actually very interesting to me was this. I he thought all Panthers all were black. <laughs> no, because no, leopards, leopards are Panthers, right? No, leopards what? are leopards. They're leopards definitely are leopards. leopards. Are y'all sure about that? Leopard is a leopard. I thought a panther was a type of like leopard. cat that's just the black version of it. It's a panther. A panther. Yeah, a panther. Okay. I don't I don't know, man. Every once in a while, they got like an albino panther. You got to listen to this shit. Somebody hit us up. Yeah, somebody let us know. All the nerds watching this this shit. (laughs) They got it. It's a black leopard. The other thing was, and this one, I think y'all might find interesting. 
people were upset at the lack of LGBT representation in the movie. Like, yeah. really, the gay trans community came hey, out and said... Hey, African don't have punks. <laughs> <laughs> what? They don't do that punk shit, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it up. African don't play that punk I, I, I need Femi to, ch- to uh, chime yeah, in on yeah, this. You think that boy did yeah, that? Yeah, hey, yeah. reviews uh, expressed yeah, yeah. By, <laughs> by CAP do not necessarily <laughs> express punks, the views bro. of the best friend. How many times you gay African? <laughs> Have, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, I'll say this. I'll say this. As far as white people is concerned, you watch Downton Abbey. How many black people do you see on Downton Abbey? Zero. Mm. You watched um, the documentary about Queen Queen Elizabeth. Mm. How many black people do you see on that? Zero. It's culturally relevant to that part of history, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. This um, Wakanda is Central Africa. It's not Southern Africa where you have a lot of white people. It's Mm -hmm. not Northern Africa where you have. You know, lighter skin people. Africa, Central Africa, Africa, Africa. 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 Black, black, oh, black. Oh, this, oh, this Africa, Africa. Not, 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 not black, but black Africa. Yeah, black, black, African. blue. Black you know? with an E. Or oh, navy blue. Oh, blue. blue. Yeah, navy blue, blue African. Africa, yeah. You know? And that's just the reality. That's just what it is. You just have to accept it. Mm-hmm. Um, now, let's... As far as the LGBT people, the or reality Africa, is... Africa, don't do in this. Africa, there are, just, there are gay people in Africa. Are oh, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's not something that is open. They in the closet. They in the closet. In the closet. Historically, oh, in the vibrating the, case. Um, like northern Nigeria, that kind of stuff, there was a lot of that going on. Um, and recently, there's a lot of, the younger kids are, they feel like they have a voice and they're doing stuff, right? You see them on social media. There's this guy that's becoming a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, they called, African with the accent and um, Oh, there's this, oh God. I think they would be Bob Risky. Any Nigerian that Looks I, up Bob Risky, you'd just be you'd be shocked. Okay. He got the accent. I never, like a, 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 I never he, knew. So they. He's, so wait, he's wait. Where's guy. where's Africa at? Is Africa Africa has LTE? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Does Africa have like Wi-Fi? In Africa, like I'm just. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. I don't. I just didn't know. Did you I know, know Africa had Wi-Fi? <laughs> Well, I mean, they might have Wi-Fi, but do they have LTE or is it like 3G? Like, what? <laughs> it's, 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 you know, when you go We've to Africa, got, it probably got a little weird um, no, symbol up there. No, it got the fist. It's a fist. And with what's the, the, oh, really? No, what's the oh, internet? Yeah, yeah. What's the, oh, really? <laughs> no, so, you we got to whine. We got, we got to whine something and then, <laughs> and then you get the... Ah, oh, no, if you're talking about what network are you going to be on? Like, yeah. You're not going to be 4G. What network it's are you going to be on? It's actually... It got the fist up there. Right, right. No, no. Anyway, we have Horizon 4G... LTE, all of that. Yeah, they and got shit out there. It may not work all the time, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> they come put electricity out there too, huh? Yeah. But yeah, so culturally speaking, you know, they're gay people there. Mm-hmm. They're just in the shadows. Oh, okay. I've so never seen a homosexual. You're not going to see, you're not going to see homosexuals. So, but he'd be in the back. They're just, taking it there's more. homosexual activity happening, but you're just going to see it. Okay, so. You, it's not something they're going to see up front. What I think is interesting is that we kind of shifted that to a conversation of do homosexuals exist in Africa? And I think that that's kind of naive of a... I mean, it's an ignorant question because that's nature versus nurture. And if yeah. it's and if you believe that people are gay by nature, which I think I agree with, they're then they're going to then they're gonna be gay everywhere. Mm-hmm. So Nigeria or not. Never but my before. point is, why would the LGBT community come after... Black Panther for the lack of representation. Because they My, selfish. Lack of education. There you go. Well, I, I think I, I'm more with what Los just said. They I want think everything. They wanted to feel the same way because you hear, you've hear heard people say this before, that I'm going to equate the struggle for equality for LGBT with the struggle <laughs> for equality with black people. It is not and the it's same. not the same. It is not the same. But they want it to be the same. No. Well, Can't unfortunately, be. history is what it is. Yeah. It's not the same. Yeah, um, it's not. Yeah. They say you have a choice to be um, black, but you, you oh, well, you don't have a choice to be black, and you don't have a choice to be gay either. Well, you but you don't. But everybody, you can't hide the fact that you're black. No, you could definitely be a big punk in the club. Yeah, as long as you want to. And that's fine. <laughs> yeah, We're yeah. not fine, but you know, I really. Do. I feel sad for that. I mean, I, just, I want I mean, them boys like to be out. Be yourself. It's enough punks to help you get through it, man. Just come on, be yourself. I just think I think at the I think at the end of the day. People in I Hollywood think at the end of the day, we got to stop saying punks or we're going to lose our... Yeah, I mean, I, and LGBT. Los, he keep going overboard with it. You know <laughs> how he do. He, he in one of his Audience. little moves right now where he's trying to prove a point, so he's saying punk as many times as he can say. <laughs> and, and I say it, for it with impact. He said just to be saying it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I think there's, you know, and I think y'all going to agree with this. 
Hollywood does a great job of emasculating black men. Mm-hmm. Y'all was yes. talking about Tyler Perry. Yes. You want him in a dress. Yes. Martin it used Lawrence, to be you couldn't make it until you get in the dress. Exactly. It used to be like that. They want him in a the dress. They then now you now you own now. They did what's so y'all made, way. y'all made a good movie? Well, why they didn't have no gay black people yeah. kissing? Yeah. Why the two two dudes wasn't kid the the, tri- the M'Baku dude, why he didn't kiss one of his soldiers? That's what they like ended, baby right? and Wayne. Yeah. That would have threw the movie left field. But I oh, like yeah. that. That they didn't have yeah. that yeah, I mean, aspect. But that was not the story, though. It wasn't. Yeah. That just was not the story. Right. No, if it was relevant Simple. to the story, then cool, whatever. But if it, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, if hey, a movie doesn't have any black people in it, I, I might say a little something. But if it's if it's about um, Europe, if it's about uh, Hitler. The Holocaust. If it's a Hitler <laughs> documentary, then I don't yeah. necessarily yeah. need no black people in yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, sometimes you just don't get picked to play. Nobody won't play with you today, man. They just didn't want to play with y'all for this movie. You know, sit on the sidelines, do whatever y'all do, yeah. and y'all come back. This our time. Something. Yeah, I mean, you, this is our movie. You didn't for get us. picked. Yeah. You just didn't get picked this time. It's okay. You get picked every other time. Every yeah. other time, y'all. Force I, I will say this though: a lot of the movies, a lot of the black movies that get a lot of popularity in, in um, Hollywood, mm-hmm. generally is about the slavery aspect of black history. Mm-hmm. Right? You don't get other stories that uplift black yeah, people in this country. Yeah. This story uplifts black people, Africans and all that stuff. They make it, we spin it. And, huh. you know, it's just what it is. Yeah. Well, right. that sounds like a perfect time to cue that music for nothing nice to say. Nothing nice You know, they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing nice, nice to say, say but I'll go nice. nice. Shit, in case you didn't know, Black Panther is out in the- theaters everywhere. Just an FYI, you know, in case you was under a rock somewhere. And we love it. Ryan Coogler did his thing, and I can happily put this movie up in my top three of all time. But, of course, we live in the age of the online troll, and I've seen a lot of people talking down. The first gripe I saw receiving traction was that Black Panther was not the first black superhero movie. I mean, I guess you could make an argument that movies like Media Man... Blade, Spawn, and Blank Man preceded Black Panther and should be receiving their just due. I'm fine with that analysis, actually. Most of those movies were good, and I remember watching a bunch of them when I was coming up. But the thing is, I don't remember anybody here actually anybody say that Black Panther was the first. If your problem with the movie was that Robert Townsend, Wesley Snipes, Michael Jai White... All the Wayans brothers aren't getting enough residual praise for being trendsetters. I honestly think you just hate it. Next, you're going to tell me Luke Cage, Iron Man's homeboy, Winston from the Ghostbusters, and the, the Black Power Ranger need props too? Instead of talking bad about Black Panther because he wasn't the first, how about you get mad at Hollywood for only giving us a handful of them to talk about? I could list white superheroes all day, but by the time I count to 10 black ones, I'm including Hammer Man from the MC Hammer cartoons. That's a problem. And the other gripe that people got, uh, you know, sure to mention this one, is that uh, no one showed up for Birth of a Nation, but we came out in droves for a superhero movie. Once again, it's a fair argument, but check it out. Don't we always make the argument that we are tired of seeing black folks on the big screen as slaves and mammies or drug dealers and killers? Double down on that with the fact that Nate Parker was looking bad at you for the Me Too allegations before Me Too was even a thing, and I can see why people may not have been flocking in the movies to check out this flick. This week I checked it, I chopped it up with my favorite professor from college, Dr. Jameson. He reminded me of some things that we discussed in his AFM course. Maybe we should embrace things like black superheroes and view them in the same light that the Yoruba <laughs> people viewed the Orishas. You should look it up further, but Orishas are deities, gods, or spirits that rule over the forces of nature and the endeavors of humanity. Simply put, they are our versions of Zeus or Thor or Poseidon that you have read about in your traditional schooling. The twist is, the Yoruba people knew that the belief in these gods weren't as important as understanding the specific attributes and characteristics they possess. Take those attributes and use them as motivations to guide your behaviors. And like they say in 2018, live your best life. All that to say, Black Panther, better yet, I like the movie, I love the movie. I got to see people that look like me on the big screen playing roles that are usually only reserved for European people. I got to see beautiful blackness on screen for two hours. 
and walked out of the movie seeing black love in people's eyes and a sense of community that honestly had me a bit choked up. So if I say it takes a superhero movie to bring out those feelings of pride and joy that came over me in that theater, then so be it. And if you could be a black person who could witness this special moment in black history during Black History Month and nitpick and hate, well, the Willie Lynch speech may be a hoax, but that Willie Lynch thinking is real. And I don't have nothing nice to say about crabs in a barrel, so I won't say nothing at all. Um, hey. Black people. Black people, black people. Y'all want to tear down the movie? God <clears throat> damn, dog. Don't, don't do it, man. Please don't. Tear down the movie, man, new Black Panther. <laughs> oh, you got vibranium, vibranium. I'm gonna watch that thing again. Um, Who's this gonna week? go? I'll go again this weekend. What's happening with you? I'm with it. Oh, you know, uh, what you call it though? Tyler yeah. Perry coming out with something this week. Definitely. <laughs> Perry, so I got a wig and some some uh, some knee highs. I can't believe y'all ain't want to dress up tribally with me. I did. No. I'm not, I'm well, not no let me ask you this. Guy. Look, perfect question right here. What? Which I know you went tribally. But there were some people that went Black Pantherly. Do you do you see anything wrong with that? Well, I kind of I was in between. You feel me? I had the Daishiki on, but I had the I had the Malcolm X hat, so I was a little in between. Okay. I mean, I wasn't. I saw like, some people that went I wasn't all like black beret. But I was thinking, ber- I you were talking beret and leather jacket. Is that what you was thinking, Rod? Yeah, like a leather jacket with a black shirt with a um, and a gun and a rifle, a hat, a Gatsby. I don't know what you call that old hat, you know, with the with the puff, a and, beret, um, a beret. A beret. Uh, I was gonna dress and like Malcolm X off uh, when he came out when he was red, Detroit red, when he had that red yeah. suit on with the hat with the feather in it. But I couldn't find my shoes. Shades of blackness. <laughs> Shades of blackness. You lost them that quick because you had that same suit on another day. <laughs> <laughs> I stupid. think you got them. Uh, I think you stole them. Hey, man, we didn't push up against it, and we're a little bit over it. So let me just put it like this, man. Best friend weekend. 420. 420 weekend. Yeah. Denver, Colorado. No, no. It's going down. We're going to be out wait. there. We got Black Panther t-shirts not just floating hey. around. I mean, I don't know where them came <laughs> from, but we selling them too. <laughs> 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 we, we out here doing that kind of thing. Um, Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Femi for Shout being here, man. Appreciate Femi, you Femi, coming through, man. Enlightening us with the course. Appreciate bro. you, Femi. You Femi? You sure appreciate it. You Femi. Femi. You Femi. When you have funny, go. Appreciate you for coming through. Yes, yes, man. Man, gave, gave the podcast a little bit, of, a little bit different type of culture. I'm not yeah. gonna say gave us culture. No, we got, we culture. got culture, man. Just gave us a different type of flavor, yeah, for it, man. You know, black is beautiful, man. Let's get it, man. Hit that music. Man, man. No. <laughs> 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 Yo, 